artist Edwina Sands calls this sculpture breakthrough because you can break through the barrier of the Iron Curtain, or at least the concrete manifestation of the Iron Curtain that once divided communism from freedom. The fall of the Berlin Wall marked a new chapter in the history of the Western world. A chapter that began here at Westminster College in 1946, when Winston Churchill warned of an Iron Curtain descending across the continent. That Iron Curtain became this, the concrete manifestation of that formidable barrier that Winston Churchill warned about here at Westminster, uh, became a reality and stood in stark contrast between the communist oppression in the East and freedom in the West. Here on the western side, you see the graffiti-clad uh, freedom of expression in stark contrast to the dark, cold, gray side on the east, the communist side. That contrast is a stark reminder of the ideological differences between the east and the west. And today, this formidable barrier is a reminder of the Cold War that began at Westminster College and in many ways ended here in Fulton, Missouri in the shadow of America's National Church and Museum at Westminster. This wonderful monument is a reminder to all those who visit uh, that freedom is not free and that barriers can come down and that walls should not divide but unite us in a greater good and a common purpose like Winston Churchill himself reminded us in the Iron Curtain speech that alliances and that sinews can bring us together for a greater and more peaceful world.